future from the past. Yeah. Make a toast. Raise your glass. Come on. Towards the future from the past. Do you know what the best app on Google TV is? Google Chrome. Because it's a browser. It's not exactly as what you'll find on your computer, but it does access a lot of the things you will find on your laptop or desktop. This is Andronica.com. Uh, you can see our website. It's really cool to see this on a screen this big, but obviously we don't have a lot of Flash content. So let's go somewhere where you will see Flash content, and that's uh, live.twit.tv. If you're a fan of the Twit network, you can now watch it on your television because there's Flash built into this Chrome and into Google TV. It is Android based after all. Uh, I'll let this video load up really quick. One megabit per second. I click on the full screen. And what do you know? I'm watching the tech guy live on my television. It's really cool. It's, it's nice to have it this big. Hey, there's Leo. It's, it's really nice, right? Now I know, yeah, Hulu's blocked. NBC's blocked. There's a lot of websites that are actively blocking their content. And that kind of sucks, but there's a lot of great places that you can still go. Uh, we did the, the breakdown of Vimeo.com. Uh, you s probably saw that already. Uh, I can, if I go to Vimeo couch mode, the website is optimized. And Google has wisely created a section of the Google TV called Spotlight. These show you a list of websites that have already optimized their television, I mean their websites, to work on your television. So I can go to Vivo and I can see some music videos. I can go to YouTube Lean Back and just browse YouTube all day if I wanted to. Or I can go to TuneIn. There's lots of things you can do on there. Uh, I'll show that in another video. But let's going back to Chrome, there's lots of stuff you can do here. You can go to any website that you want directly within here. So let's try and think of a website that shows uh, a lot of Flash content. Um, actually, I'll go to, no, I, I don't want to go to that one. Actually, you know what? This reminds me of something. Someone asked me on here, how does Google TV perform with, how should I say, adult websites? And the answer is very simple. If it uses Flash, those adult websites will work. Now, you probably don't want those things coming up in your history. So if that's the case, you're going to press the menu button. And what do you know? incognito tab G hmm perverts uh, you can also check your tab history here you can close tab and when you go to more you can find stuff on a page or mess around with your settings another thing you can do you can bookmark pages so let's say all right I don't want to bookmark this particular page but I want to go to vimeo.com slash couch mode which is their website that is optimized for Google TV. And once I get there, I'm gonna press the record button and it's gonna give me some options. I can share it with friends or I can add to web, add the web page to my bookmarks. All right, or I can put it in queue, which is gonna line up some other videos to display. This is really loud, long, so I'll put Vimeo couch and I save. And now I've got a new bookmark. When I press the home button, and then I go to bookmarks, now you see Vimeo Couch, the first one that comes up. Uh, and there's some other websites that I have here blocked. Oh yeah, if you're a sports fan, you're gonna love ESPN3.com because they have Flash content. And a, a couple weeks ago, there was a game that I wanted to watch on TV. It wasn't on any of my local networks. I went on ESPN3.com. I started the Flash player, and I was watching it live. And it was great HD quality. And uh, it almost made up for the $300 right there. It's pretty interesting. So if you go to a lot of Flash websites, and you've always said, oh, man, I wish I could watch this on my TV, Google Chrome in your Google TV is going to make that possible. There's more stuff that you can discover along the way. I'll leave that to you. I'll just let you know that this is not going to be your primary browser because scrolling can take a while. Text on certain websites don't doesn't look very well. But if you're going to consume media and consume video in particular, this is going to be a great thing to have.
This is Andrew from Enjoynica.com giving you a look at Google Chrome on Google TV. Be sure to check out our other videos on Google TV and go to Enjoynica.com for all of your Android needs. Come on, come on.